pictures of inspiration hang on the walls. She came from Knoxville, Illinois in 1902 with her husband. Of the house once owned by Dr. Justina Ford. That house served as her practice because she was denied membership at the Colorado Medical Society and also denied membership at the Denver Medical Society because she was black and she was a woman. Her house is now home to the Black American West Museum and Heritage Center, where Sylvia Lamb is the PR strategist. I'm helping them raise their profile and um, preserve the legacy of Dr. Justina Ford. No one had to give her permission. Part of that strategy includes a live stream tribute. It's her 150th birthday um, today because she was born in 1871. Celebrating her contribution to the health and welfare of babies born in Denver. And during her 50 year career, she delivered over 7,000 babies. She served an immigrant underserved community. She could speak between eight and 11 different dialects. The tribute also included interviews from patients she delivered. Here's my birth certificate. Like Joseph Martinez, who grew up in the Five Points area. She was a forceful woman and she was determined to, to do what her passion was. And I think to me being brought into this world, uh, by her. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> the museum hopes Dr. Ford's accomplishments will always be remembered. Overcoming obstacles and barriers that uh, were put in her way. And serve as an education for all who visit her home. The planning committee at the Black American West Museum thought it was a great opportunity to um, preserve her legacy and an opportunity to raise awareness. For Nine News. Because still so many people don't know who she is. I'm Byron Reed.